the reason I chose SAS at KGU is I spent a year in Japan as a foreign exchange student in high school. I went back to the United States and I was torn between two options, either stay in the United States and join a typical American university or come back to Japan and improve my Japanese and really integrate myself into Japanese society and culture. What I love about Kansai is that it's got everything. You have Osaka, right? You have the city where, you know, there's the nightlife and then there's, you know, you have all the things that come with the city. Go north to Kyoto and experience the old Japan and all the old temples. And then you go to the east and you got Kobe over there. And that's the quiet city near the ocean with lots of like, you know, cultural events. You have everything in Kansai really packed together. You can experience everything at once. In the beginning it was good, but then eventually I fell into this kind of pit of difficulty in my life and I had to push off my graduation. But luckily my professor Shio Sensei and all the staff at the SIS office were very helpful in getting me back on my feet and completing my graduation. Without them I wouldn't have graduated I think. The great thing about the KGU and the SIS program was that I was surrounded by people from Uganda and Korea and all these different countries with all these different religions and all these different experiences. So after spending time at the SIS program, I was able to broaden my understanding and be more open as a person. So being a world citizen was something that I wanted to be before I joined KGU and it was one of the reasons I, I wanted to join KGU was because I wanted to be that bridge between Japan and foreign countries and that's where I set up my career. I'm always thinking of like, what can I be doing as a citizen of the, not just Japan or American, of like, what can I do on a global scale with every position? And if it's really, if it isn't global to me or like on a global scale, it doesn't really interest me enough. So I'm always looking to be somewhere where I can be constantly working from outside Japan with Japan in some form of faction. So be open-minded because you're coming from, you know, whatever safe, location, you know, you're a little bubble and you're breaking out of that bubble and you're coming to Japan. Try to be as open as possible. Don't close your mind from anything because those experiences might help you in the future. So always keep an open mind, always be taking in everything, um, the good and the bad and process it and use it to your advantage.